The resumes of Derek Carr and Aaron Rodgers aren't comparable, but Carr does have some impressive numbers of his own, so let's give him that credit. He has the third most passing yards in a player's first eight seasons in NFL history, trailing only Peyton Manning and Matt Ryan. Carr is also one of only four QBs to have at least 4,000 passing yards in each of the last four seasons. The others, Tom Brady, Aaron Rodgers, and Patrick Mahomes. So, Mina, it was really funny watching you uh, listen to Devontae Adams and, like, the whole retraction <laughs> of the statement that wasn't a retraction all that. But what do you make of Adams' comments? Well, well, first I'll say I think we should all be so lucky to have a friend like Devontae yeah. Adams, right? You know what I do? And her name is Laura Rutledge yeah. because she big ups me that way, but too. You are, but you, you really oh, are man. a Hall of Famer, though, so I'm, I'm not, like, just making that up. Oh. But anyway, go ahead, Mina. Oh. <laughs> um, I'll say this. You know, uh, obviously a comparison – between Aaron Rodgers and any quarterback is not particularly generous. Uh, but all Adams really has to do is compare Derek Carr to how Carr himself was playing a few years ago because he has quietly made a lot of improvements a year, especially recently, I would say, uh, playing for the Raiders. You know, a big criticism of him, and I think a really fair one, is that uh, he checks down, he doesn't push the ball downfield. And in 2019, he ranks 32nd in the NFL in air yards per attempt. Last year... 11th and, and that was with not a full season from Henry Ruggs. He has been markedly more aggressive and they've had more cr explosive plays as a result. Uh, the other critique that w has come to mind, I guess, if you, over the course of his career is he's not a playmaker. He's not extending, creating the way some quarterbacks in this league do. But something I've noticed him um, recently and especially last season playing behind, you know, a struggling offensive line, particularly on the right side, Derek Carr has been using his legs more, more and he has been more willing to create create and I think you know if you look at statistics last year versus previous years when he is on the move he is throwing the football better so I would say you know Derek Carr right now is firmly in that 10 to 15 range as a quarterback I think now the pressure is on him to jump from 5 to 10 with the skill players he have he, he has but he has been underrated recently yeah, yeah. and Mina I think that you me and Devontae Adams would agree that he has not had a Hall of Fame career. <laughs> if we could all be honest with each other, he has not. But I do think, to your point about, hey, is he going to be better? Like, is he going to improve? Uh, I think that he is going mm -hmm. to improve. I think the situation around him is going to be better. I, I, like many people, was really impressed uh, with how he led through the disaster of what last year was and played quite well through most of it as, also. And now, all of a sudden, you add one of the best receivers in football to go with a bunch of other really talented players on that offense. You pair him with Josh McDaniels, who's been one of the better play callers in the National Football League recently. And I think that there's no doubt room for improvement for a guy who, by the way, back in 2016, received MVP votes. So yeah. I'm not saying he's going to the <laughs> Hall of Fame, but I do think he's a really good yeah. player who's going to have really good players around him. Yeah, 57 career wins, 30 game-winning drives. Isn't that, like, the definition of clutch? He comes up big and gets it done. And I, I don't know, he's just one of those quarterbacks uh, we criticize a lot, and, and I think it's hard to believe sometimes when you hear that stat. But that's the truth. And Adams is just pumping his guy's tires. That's his best friend. Uh, he's doing what he should do. That's being a good teammate. You know, and it's interesting because Devontae Adams has had such an impact in Vegas already. We talk on the show all the time about his talent. He's the number one receiver in the league. Yet I talked to a player on the Raiders who told me that Adams has a way about himself during the workouts that he's almost like a rookie, meaning the enthusiasm, his eagerness to do the rep again, to get it right. So not only is he constantly trying to improve himself, but he's really lifting those around him. So this is what you get. When you sign a player like Devonta Adams, yeah, he costs a lot of money, but he's going to have a lot of effect on those players around him. Yeah, listen, um, I'm all for these guys just continuing to talk and pump people up, and maybe if it's at the expense of other guys, it makes for great entertainment. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.